Enterprise Management 360. Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Chats. Now in today's episode, I'm going to be joined by Ben Larkin, who is the Program Chair of NLP Summit. And I'm excited to have Ben back on a EM360 show because we did a podcast last time. I think it was late last year. And we were discussing the implications of AI on privacy and ethics. So Ben, welcome back and thank you for taking the time to talk to me today. Always great to chat with you, Max. Thanks, Ben. And today we're going to be discussing the findings of the NLP industry survey, which explores the state of NLP adoption across industries. I wanted to understand, first of all, the introduction into what the NLP industry survey investigated and what kind of methodologies you guys took to get your findings. We were curious about uh, the state of NLP in industry. As uh, some of your viewers and listeners may know, natural language technologies is one of the hot areas in uh, machine learning and AI with Mm -hmm. all these uh, stories about uh, tools from OpenAI, Google, uh, Microsoft, and a bunch of other research groups. But we were, uh, what we were curious about is what about regular companies? What are they doing? So we said about, uh, uh, conducting a survey which ran for about 41 days mm-hmm. uh, in uh, early July to mid-August. So this was after uh, the pandemic was in place. We ran the survey. Uh, we got respondents, uh, 600 respondents from about 50 countries, and about a quarter of all the respondents held technical leadership roles. So we were able to tease out uh, what companies are doing Uh, How are they using natural language technologies? What tools are they using? And what challenges do they face? Excellent. Good areas to cover. And I guess the most logical follow-up question to that is, what were the key findings? Were there any shocks for you when you were kind of going through it? Not uh, too shocking for me because I somewhat followed this area and used some of these tools. But Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that was surprising was I was expecting people to say that their budgets would go down. And then the other question, of course, that people might be curious about is cloud, right? Because uh, we hear about uh, yeah. all these cool AI tools on the cloud. So we gave people a choice, multiple cloud providers. In our survey, we listed Google, Amazon Web Services, Azure, and IBM. So we found that if we asked the technical leaders in the companies, people who were worked at companies that were further along the NLP adoption curve, we found about uh, about two thirds of them used at least one of those cloud providers. Um, And so for cloud providers, here's something interesting, which uh, I guess is a surprise for me because I don't use the the cloud services for NLP. What are the challenges, perceived challenges for people who use uh, NLP uh, services in the cloud? The first one was cost. So it turns out the way these cloud providers price their uh, NLP services, it really starts to get expensive the more text you process Mm -hmm. uh, because the unit of pricing is uh, aligned with the amount of text. The other thing is the ability to tune the models. So you can imagine if you had an open source library that you control on your servers, you might be able to go in there and tweak the model to your delight, right? So in the cloud, you have less less power to do that. And one thing that... uh, people should realize is that while we read a lot of great stories about natural language technologies, um, uh, human language is still very specific to domain and application, right? So I think a good example would be even in healthcare and medicine, people in radiology might use different terms and, and vocabulary as people in the emergency room or in the cancer unit, right? Each of these fields has uh, different terminologies. You will need to tune some of these models, uh, these amazingly accurate models, uh, somewhat for your domain to make, to make sure you get the even better performance. Yeah, it's all about being aware of the industry that you're focusing on. And it's interesting that you bring up uh, cost as well and seeing the kind of increase and how that kind of affects it as well. Another point I wanted to bring up, I mentioned at the start of the show, is obviously we've got the NLP Summit coming up on from October 6th to the 16th, if I'm correct. What yes. can you tell us about the event and what are you hoping people are going to take away from it? 
So overall, the objective max, as, as I alluded to, natural language technologies is one of these hot areas in research. People read a lot about amazing uh, research uh, breakthroughs. Mm -hmm. uh, so it turns there's actually quite a bit of research and academic gathering places for people interested in natural language technologies. So what we want to do is uh, is uh, organize uh, what we hope to be will be the premier gathering place for people interested in applications and how to build uh, uh, natural language applications. So uh, take things that are from the research world and put them in the hands of uh, developers and uh, people who work at companies. So we tried to do that in the conference in a few ways. One is we invited some of the people who wrote some of the main libraries that, that people in industries are using. So we'll have representatives from uh, uh, some of the key libraries to give us what's new. And then we have applications, right? So we have applications in a variety of domains, finance. Uh, we even have uh, a couple of talks from the legal community. So one specifically on applications of NLP in uh, the legal profession, as you know, uh, I don't know how much uh, you've interacted with lawyers, but they like text. <laughs> <laughs> they like contracts and texts, right? So, uh, so there's a lot of uh, potential applications of uh, natural language technologies in the law. Exactly. I was going to say there's a, a lot of stuff going on, but a lot of really great stuff. I had a look at the agenda and each day that there's something new going on and something different. If people are wanting to register, where's the best place that they can go for kind of information on this? I think go to our website, which is nlpsummit.org. Excellent. I think it's uh, an event that a lot of people, you don't want to miss it, is, is all I'm going to say. There's a lot of stuff going on. I'll definitely be tuning into a couple uh, just to kind of learn a lot of stuff. So Ben, all I can say is best of luck with it. And I know it's going to be a huge success. So thank you for coming on today's episode and talking to us all about NLP. Thank you. Now, just before you go, I wanted to let you know about a great online event coming up. The USA Online Digital Transformation Conference is on October 28th and 29th. The event will be tackling the challenges of successful transformation head-on and will feature a diverse set of topics to cover the entire digital landscape. The event will feature different sessions with presentations, panel discussions and interviews and there are limited free tickets available so make sure you register for your tickets now at digitaltransformationconf.com.